Hello, everyone. Today we are going to show you how we integrate virtual reality, or VR, with a split belt treadmill from Modak Medical. The setup for this is very simple. Start by wearing VR goggles and attaching the trackers to the user's feet. The VR goggles show the scenario, whatever you set. But in our case, we use the subway in the city. While the trackers are the inertial measurement units, they are used to detect a leg's movements. So, the scene in the VR will move according to the trackers. Moreover, we have used the motion capture system to analyze the user's biomechanics, such as joint kinematics, ground reaction force, and muscle activity. Users can choose whether they would like to walk or skateboard. The movement speed is set at the user's walking speed. However, therapists can provide some obstacles in the VR scenario, as well as change the speed of the treadmill to challenge the patient's ability. We developed this because we would like to use these systems for training patients with spinal stenosis. But why? Why are patients with stenosis? Because patients with spinal stenosis usually have walking and balance issues. Sometimes the nerve root is compressed on two sides. Sometimes just one side. So, patients with spinal stenosis often have leg pain and leg muscle weakness. These kinds of patients also have changes in their sensory motor systems due to their pain. The use of our systems can help them because VR can distract them from pain while they are moving on the treadmill. The other thing is that VR can restore their sensory motor system back to normal. Moreover, the physical movement of walking or skateboarding also increases muscle power. With our system, therapists can use our systems in clinics because it doesn't need much space. They can also analyze the patient's movement and performance at the same time. That's all for our concepts. Thank you.